We're recording. Paul gave us the thumbs up. Uh, this is a facial recognition comedy podcast. I'm Fizza Dasani, and I'm here with Zara Norbach. Zara Norbach. So I bad. Zara. Do I hold mine like you? You can if you want. It's Just sit here like this. You know, whatever works for you. This is. I think you can do whatever you want as long as it's not like a like hookah. making someone bleed, someone else bleed. That's not what I heard. I heard that even then it's fine. Yeah, I mean, if the, if it can be artistically justified. Yeah, right. That's that's I think the bar. Yeah. <laughs> We're making good art here. Um, so moments ago, you were. Uh, now nah, I was gonna bring up the pap smear thing, but oh. yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Moments I, ago, we had great jokes <laughs> that weren't recorded. Yeah, Paul, I told you we were supposed to get our pre-show on. You're supposed to start recording before we even know we're being recorded. All you have to know is they were great, and there will be callbacks. There will be callbacks, and you guys aren't privy to the to what they're referencing. So I, I wanted to wanted to fill you. I don't know. Zara, Zara, Zara asked me to give her. She was brushing. <laughs> okay, we'll just tell him. Zara was brushing yeah, her tell hair him for all the my first business. time. And, is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, so you were brushing your hair for the first time in a week. Your hair looks gorgeous, approximately. By the way, but like, Thank who you. gives? You know, I don't care. I don't judge. Like, do whatever you want. Like, okay, but you're sitting here with like gorgeous hair, okay, and, I a, knew, I knew and we were a leopard. Recording. That wasn't looking like this before. Which you no one we told recording. me it's gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, most most of our listeners are listeners. You know, they. I mean, go watch us on YouTube if you're if you're listening to this. If also, you, but it's most of them. Mo I think Apple Podcasts is our biggest. Uh, if you put it on YouTube, can we biggest. filter the shit out of it still? Can we throw a Can we throw a <laughs> Paris filter on it? Yeah, I think you can only do fifteen seconds at a time. Like that would be very tedious. Paris is the shit. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. That's just like it's. Just give everyone Paris contacts. You know, I wish we could, do, like, I wish we could have Paris filter on everything. Like, yeah. why, why only for this fifteen second Insta story? It sucks. Can you imagine if grocery stores had like Paris filter on fruit? They would make so much money. Oh my god, that I wouldn't know. It's perfect, not for you. Like, you get the bruises, which yeah. just blend right in. I would just no blame bru myself when <laughs> I brought it home. I'd be like, no, it's us. Oh. Look at its complexion. It's just so even. <laughs> <laughs> As is mine. Yeah. With Paris. But um, what I do you guys usually discuss? Every, I mean, anything. It's sort of like round table style. So whatever topics on the table is what we discuss. I'm an avid listener. I'm just testing you. Do you really? <laughs> Do you really listen? I don't know. Like I, someone I was talking to someone earlier today, and they're like, "Yeah, I was listening to your podcast." I'm always shocked when I hear someone's listening to the <laughs> podcast. I'm like, people actually listen to this shit. Yeah. Oh my god. So you actually. So last time we talked, um, before I asked, before you were like, "Let me, let me." Telling you about my hair regimen. <laughs> <laughs> there was. Um, you sent me an article. Yeah. And I didn't even know that this existed until you sent it to me. This article is hilarious. So um, it basically is from the Daily Cal, it, which is a student paper. Yeah. Uh, you, is it Berkeley? Yeah, that's right. That's I, should, I feel like I should have done some research. It's my alma mater. Anyway, the a, a lot of the uh, overall, actually, they were, it seemed like they pr liked the show, they enjoyed the show, but... <laughs> But it was very, you know, mixed, and there was a lot of There's comparison. There's a rad reveal about to come, you guys. There was a lot of comparison, and... Yes. And, okay, so l I'm going to pause and rewind a little bit. Okay. Something that's been on my mind lately has been um, how women are always compared to yes. one another. If there if there's more than one woman, it's always like, well, if for this person to be dope, someone else has to be trash. Yes. Why don't we do that to men? Why don't we compare... Like, I mean, we. I think it, it's with people, but it's especially with win, with women. The they internet doesn't like compares, women. Nobody compares men. Yeah. Like, I mean, can you imagine? I do, but I'm a manizer, so. Well, who do you compare? I, I mean, you know, the you side dick. Who? What? I just said the side dicks, but the side dicks. <laughs> but See, but you already have. You're a name. changing the stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm changing. Okay. No. We no. want to build context first before we get into the weeds. With yeah. our analysis. So, like, I, you know, did you watch the halftime show at the Super Bowl? No. 
I I happen to like I just wanted to watch I cuz I I hate sports. I hate the sound of it. It's just it's not <laughs> for me. But you know like whoever likes it like good for you. Whatever. I don't give a sh- you know like yeah. be happy, live long and prosper whatever. But like I wanted to see the halftime show cuz that's a great production with a big budget. You know, they get like Yeah, it's good. Top-notch talent. So it was J-Lo and Shakira right. it was in Miami. It was the first time it was sort of like this Latin takeover of this traditionally white medium. Mm-hmm. And they killed it. Yeah. They killed it. But like even, I mean, I was I grew up in this society, so I'm conditioned with that compare and despair programming as well. Oh. So I found myself, like, we sort of look at things with a critical eye, and I was like, I don't want to do this. Mm. And then I went on Twitter, and I saw there was a lot of comparison. And both women are just, like, gods. Mm-hmm. So, like, it was, it was incredible. Yeah. But, um, and they enhanced each other's performance none i think took from the other it was just like it was so beautiful like i Mm. I would suggest checking it out because it's 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 a lot of women i saw clip yeah oh you did yeah yeah it's it was a lot of fun especially like if you you know sort of in in their heyday like grew up around that time and i feel like we probably did because we're like you know we're in our late teens yeah now 17 yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> when people find out I'm a grown ass woman, I swear to God, people treat me differently. <laughs> no, I swear, I swear. Like I get so so disrespected. Like when I'm just mm. walk when I meet someone for the first time with pigtails, and they're like, "You're what? <laughs> <laughs> You're 72." I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. But um, yeah. So that com- and it happens with facial recognition comedy too. Like. Um, oh yeah, I want to hear about this. I'm curious. So, um, you know the flyers, the we're not the same person. We have the six faces. Um, we have th- this happens all the time. But a recent example is we had Crystal Marie on our show, and she, hilarious, hilarious comic. I don't know if you've met her. Um, no. Well, y- you should at some point. We'll introduce you to, but or maybe we'll put you on a show. I wanna meet. What you. What are you guys doing Sunday? Okay, I'll book you later. Yay. But, um, so she's. Also, like, she's also a very, very beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, it's part of her brand, like, being just a sexy woman. So we had... Mine as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's why my hair's not brushed. I mean, I have a decent score on wiki feet, so, like... Yeah. You know, these hoes better watch out. Yeah. Um, Watch out. But someone went on her page after she posted the We're Not the Same Person flyer with her on it and was like... You're the most beautiful and the funniest of oh, all yeah. of them. <laughs> and she shut it down. Like, she was like, you know, you don't have to put other people down to put, you know, yeah, to compliment yeah. someone and you can unfollow me. Like, she, you know, she was like a real boss about that Damn. shit. But, like, she shut it down. But it, it's like, you know, like, I'm, I think I was having a good day. So I was like, oh, whatever, you know, like, you roll your eyes at that. But it's just like, it's also, or maybe we're just desensitized to that shit. Zara, oh. other Zara is here. Come on in. So we're we start talking about. Salam for bonus. So remember, like, hi, hi, hi. On Crystal Hello. Marie, when she posted that we're not the same person, someone was like, "You're, um, you're the most beautiful and the funniest." And she's beautiful and funny, obviously, but she shut it down. She was like, "You don't have to put other women down to, you know." I love that she does that. I love it too. I love she because I mean that happens whenever she posts anything with a group of women. Mm-hmm. People are always like, oh, you're the hottest. And she shuts it down immediately. Because she's not about that. I'm going to look her up now. Oh, she's great. She has the best boobs in comedy. (laughs) Not that everyone else's boobs are not wonderful. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. You know what? We all have the best boobs. But it's just, yeah. You want to see how we do this? But, like, her boobs are, you know, like, you just, like, that is her thing. She's very out and proud about her boobs. I am... Crystal Marie. Uh, she's so dope. I like she's come up in like when I went up like after her at, N- at New York Comedy Club. Mm-hmm. Like I have a whole riff based on her boobs. Like she's the Dang. best. I mean, sh- and she's so fucking. Fu- oh, wait, just it's follow private? her. It's worth it. Okay. I'll yeah. Follow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know um, it was private. I want to see these boobs. She's a genius. She's wonderful. You yeah. Have to have people follow you to see your shit. I, okay. Yeah. I might put my shit as private. Yeah. I mean, maybe I don't know. Um, so what's up? What I miss? So we're two z- two Zaras on a podcast. This is great. Yeah, two Zaras, one podcast, and one girl who looks like Zara. How <laughs> will you tell <laughs> us apart? It's just three Zaras. It's just it's three just Zaras. It's Zara, Zara or they merge you in. Oh <laughs> my goodness! 
Fizara. We just that works. we're just gonna hold them like this, like hookahs. We I can. Th we can't do, do whatever makes you comfortable. I prefer yeah. that. This you can do what makes you want. me comfortable. Lick, lick, lick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so did we already cover the the uh, controversial no, the we article? We're just it. about to get into oh, it. Oh, great. We're I got even there laying the foundation for the reveal. Oh, okay, sorry. There was a review sorry. by the Daily Cow. Is that what the, that's what it's called, the Daily Cow? It's called Daily the Daily California. It's my alma mater, UC Berkeley. It's Berkeley. Oh, it's your yeah. alma mater? Okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't, that adds so a whole other layer. Did they come I out to go just there. for you? No, so that's a that's a thing that's also unusual is that usually reviewers and it was a review or we're actually still not sure because it was not I don't know it what didn't it read was. like a review. It was a, a review in a student paper and it was um, it read more like a preview might, but then she inserted her opinion just to say what sucked. <laughs> yeah, like it was just weird. It was really weird, and yeah, she did the thing where she put down the other women. Just to compliment Pallavi's set. Yeah. Pallavi had the best set of the night, and Zara was cheeky and old. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm like, and, what? And, and Suba and I were irreverent. Irreverent? Yeah. And, like, and the least, least, least self deprecating. Yeah, and I, I was famous, but not. <laughs> but I, but I. I didn't measure up. I want to like respond <laughs> to her. You have the I most really name power. I think my yeah, I think she had the, the most name power. Yeah, you, I have the, mo she the, had the most, most facial recognition <laughs> of Zara all the Zara Norbuck has the most name recognition. It's because um, my last name's the longest. <laughs> <laughs> it's ten letters. I mean, Ganal, <laughs> no. Which also is hilarious even, because your him. closer was like, it's like a writer for Big Bang Theory, like. You know, more name recognition actually, than me. Well, yeah, Sipa Agarwal is a writer for the. She's been a writer for the Jim Jeffrey Show. She she writes for everyone. She is one of the best comics. Wasn't she on an HBO show also? Like I don't know. I mean, like I don't want to like I don't want to call out anyone the best or whatever. But like she, I'm the best. That's been established. We've all been the best on different days. Well, you also know, and we've night, all been the worst on different that was, days. That show is a sold out show, and everyone did well. So she was sort of nitpicking, like. Like, you know, like, oh, there, this one moment fell flat or mm -hmm. like the energy, sh like she was sort of nitpicking. Yeah. And then it was very, I've never read a review like that. It was very irresponsible journalism. Um, Cause I've like, I've also been like an other newspaper articles where like, maybe I didn't have the best set and they're like, yeah. And Zara Ali was there. You know, and that's it. <laughs> and they left it at that. No, but she you know? actually complimented, like, she's like, I think, she complimented our three sets, but she was like, but they weren't as good Miss as Pullivy's. Who know? had a great set. And But she also, like, the the next show, she hated her set. Yeah. She's like, she literally said, I haven't bombed that. So what if the reviewer saw her the second show? Yeah. Like, that's and the reviewer I, didn't know that there was a second show. And I had a better that's what set. Was hilarious. I had a better set the second show, you know? And it's like, it. I didn't know the first show. And I had the I best set of the night, and she didn't cover that. <laughs> the best. <laughs> and you're but just the best. <laughs> I don't understand. But, like, I do want to respond Are we all to canceled her. yet? No, I want to respond to this hoe mm. and be mm. like, dear, co dear hoe who came to our show. <laughs> oh, that rhymed. Yeah. That should be a Can show. Can we talk I, to students like that? No, but I also want Zara wanna... loves calling young women hoes. <laughs> Honestly, How old are you and that everyone's a young too. woman? Apparently, I'm the oldest person on the show, according Zara, to this I article. I died. I died. I'm like, what the? F like, Zara, I'm awesome. the only I'm one that, like, in that show, I'm the only one that said how old I was. So she was like, she's the oldest person on the show. <laughs> no, I, I think I might have. Oh, I don't know if I did that. I don't know. Yeah, but, but it's like, what? Like, uh, wait till you're wait till you're that age, you know? Like, yeah. one, I wasn't the oldest person on the show. No, so no that's I irresponsible. Am. I'm the but, oldest. But I'm 39. I'm, but I'm the one that was, like, actually taught. I was, like, talking about, like, 20-year-olds being hoes and embracing hoe life. Right. Like, that yeah. is something that happens happens in our society i just really know? like knowing though that if you're a woman in comedy and you go up on stage and you say i'm really old then that's it you've established you're the oldest for the night but <laughs> i didn't say i'm really old that I was what stuck with her no but yeah. i said i turned this many this year this month this is my yeah. birthday month and she was like oh damn you're old exactly so the college student at uc berkeley was like she must be the oldest one on the show because no one else looks that old you know but it's not even like you don't look old exactly you have the old person's voice I like I have a young person's voice. I have an old person's personality. <laughs> I think that's what it is. 
<laughs> like I'm that auntie. Like I'm like the the young old auntie. You like, do have know. like the young old auntie earrings on right now. I do. And, like pearl shape. I don't know what these are. I think these were a gift from like an older auntie. She has but a then blazer and it's hip though. This it's like but a your leather pants blazer? leather and flannel. Like your I'm, pants. Your no, pants looks, are all like great. torn and hot and sexy yeah, right now. Whoever can see this, this, I'm young right and here. hot and hip <laughs> and cool and not old. She uses TikTok. I use TikTok. Come on now. Go follow me on TikTok. Really, Zara. I need followers. And she pays her taxes. And yeah, I oh, do damn. pay my taxes. She's got it together, man. Yeah. You're but adulting. Are you the I'm best? Like, <laughs> maybe I'm <laughs> oh maybe God, I'm just the, the best? best at life. I don't know. <laughs> Who's the best? Oh my God. You're the best. Yeah. Yeah. But I do want to respond to her because she like quoted a punchline. And it's like, you're uh, not supposed to do that. But her being a student journalist, she doesn't know. Well, she should know it's the Daily Cal. I mean, it's a reputable um, yeah. newspaper. It's it's a the, – the review – like, there were a couple things that I enjoyed about the review in an ironic way. My favorite was that she used the most passive-aggressive transition on the planet four times. With despite. This, despite. <laughs> yeah. She used despite. Because yeah. it's not in spite. Like, Do we have in it? spite of – it up? I could pull it up. Yeah. Because, okay, in spite of is the transition you use when you want to, like, talk somebody up. Yeah. In spite of a difficult audience, in, in spite of the difficult audience, in spite of the, you know, the, the recent news, uh, in spite of the political climate, this person rocked it. Yeah. But despite is the one that you use to be, like, despite the fact that we thought she'd be awesome, it was crap. Yeah, I don't. Well, okay, so her it looks like and her she used it four times in nine hundred words. Her ending thoughts are, and this is you know after a whole bunch of opinions. Yeah. But despite yeah. peppered in, um, it's an une an uneven night doesn't discount discount the strength of the performers or the promise of the group as a whole. After all, facial recognition comedy has been highlighted by multiple publications over the last few years as a group to look out for, especially because of its importance in highlighting diverse perspectives and creating a space for comedians to perform specific to their identities and experience. And though Friday night wasn't necessarily the best, <laughs> damn, okay, wasn't necessarily <laughs> the best showcase for all group members, fans can still catch the genuinely bright and funny <laughs> Facial recognition comedy online and on the road in the future. Despite. <laughs> despite, yeah. Despite. So like, it's four times, you guys. Yeah, I mean. There are four. Read all the despites. But you know, like, you can pull a quote here, like, quote, genuinely bright and funny. Boom, done. Yeah. Genuinely, as opposed to. <laughs> um, or here, um, let's see. While each of the concluding comedians had well-delivered, consistently funny acts, None were quite as memorable as Canales, who had a great set. Like the whole set was great. Also, but, like, maybe it's just, I thought the whole show is fucking great. Like, is Pallavi here to comment? We got to get her on the phone. She wants to call in. It's just I don't. We'll get her. So here's yeah. the thing. Oh, so she's already left, you no, guys. No, no, no. She, yeah, no. She's, she's already, already she's like already, going already, solo. She's surpassed. She's gone solo. But okay, <laughs> no, she was pissed off too. She was. Yeah, she you know why? Because when reviewers write shit like that then you can't post it because then when people go to look it up, they're going to see all the crap talk about your sis. Yeah. And then when you try to, like, repost it for your friend to shine a light on your friend, people are going to click it and see all the shit talk about you. I mean, you. this is just not shareable content. Like, we can't do anything no, with it. No, it's And it's everybody. irresponsible. Also, may okay, like, this is very opinionated. It's an opinion. Like, you thought. But it's also oddly not. Right? Because, right. like, there was a lot of summary. There was. So it's like, what is it? Is it a review? Is it your opinion? It, like, what? I what think she is was it? just asking Polivia out. I think that's what happened. Maybe. But also, like, this girl has a <laughs> South Indian last name. So maybe is she related to Pallavi the most? And it is her very <gasps> opinion. Oh, it is her opinion. Why a lot of people? Because, right? Well, no, criticism. Maybe there weren't a lot of people in their early 30s in the audience that, like, during that show that didn't relate to my set. Um, my set killed last night, whereas it was a bunch of 30 something. Oh, in the you audience. mean related you to know? it, like, connected with it, not, like, as in well, that's a the relative. Thing, is comedy yeah. subjective? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Art is subjective. Exactly. So critics actually are in a position where there's, you know, people don't yeah. love critics because they, yeah. it's like, who makes you. The you know your opinion better, but than also else. this girl <laughs> you is meant not, like, what this girl's not an authority. Like this woman, this twenty whatever year old that's in at UC Berkeley who has two hundred and sixty two hundred thirty three followers on Twitter. Um, she's okay. not really an authority. Oh, right. But see, here's what I, I mean, don't like about but she's, this. Though. You know, also it's just like you know she can have her opinion, and yeah, that's but the also thing is, obviously, it, I really think she just needs someone to like be like, hey. 
I know you're trying to be woke because I like looked at her Twitter. She always like tweets and retweets oh, you looked at her Twitter. <laughs> woke woke things. You know, she's really <laughs> about diversity or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, maybe she just needs to be told like, mm. hey, what you did was not cool. Like no. that was not inclusive. That was no, not showcasing wasn't. excellence in our like diversity and our voices. Mm. It like, wasn't uplifting and it didn't. Yeah. Like if you overall, You put down other women. You yeah. put down other women to make one woman shine. Like what was the point of doing that? Yeah, I mean, you yeah, know, like, why did you turn it into a competition? Are well, you yeah, that you, exactly? You're you just you're fighting. You're fight. You're basically perpetuating a stereotype that we're trying to fight, which is like we all have individual voices, and no one voice is like counts or is stronger than the other. You know? Yeah, everyone's yeah, voice has equal v value, and it, the thing is, for her, she connected most with Paula, yeah. and that's great. And she could have said that, and yeah. she could have expressed that. But yeah, why, that should have been the center of why the article. Pitting, yeah. Why pitting? You know. Yeah. The, why do you find like you know one comic had one moment where a joke didn't land? Also, why did you quote my punchline and nobody else's? Like clearly, yeah. you not having a headboard really affected you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're in a fucking Sorry, dorm room. Pissed. I'm not expecting you to have a headboard, but you know when you start dating out in the real world outside of Berkeley, go find a guy who has furniture. That's like, why she's like, what's a headboard? I'm giving valid advice. It's I don't UC know. UC Berkeley. I mean, I mean, I didn't have oh a headboard God. for a while. Well, that's fine, but it's like. I'm giving like I still don't have a headboard, <laughs> but <laughs> that's it's not even. But you know this, right? Yeah. But like, what about guys? <laughs> like, so I have a whole bit where it's basically like my advice is like, this is what you should look for when you're trying to find a good guy. Usually, a good guy who has his shit together has furniture. That's all. Don't fuck a guy on a futon if that's <laughs> all he has to sleep on. You know, it rhymes. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm about rhyming today. I'm just saying, like... Don't fuck a guy on a futon if that's all he has to sleep it on. Was, it was just well, it's like, just be careful. You can't, like, expect a guy with a futon to give you, like, all of life's blessings and, like, have share a future with him, you know? And that's, like... It's, I'm just sharing my experience just of, like... wisdom needs a beat. I just, like... I don't, I don't understand. Like, I... My whole point of view is, like, listen, I've lived this life. This is my advice that I'm giving to you. And a lot of people just take it personally. In that generation, <laughs> that's well, so don't auntie. they say? Don't no, they no. say that generation? What is it? Gen Z is Gen Z. Yeah, is, is a little more. What do you, look, Zara's wearing a shirt that says, or Norbach is wearing the shirt that says "Cancel the Cancel Culture." This is a. Oh my God! Oh, I'm Norbach. This now. is like not time. even the OG Zara. What's happening? Oh, don't get no. I mean, oh, the best you Zara. Could, you the, the best. best the Zara. best Zara. The best Zara. <laughs> Probably the first Zara in comedy, and then like all these other hoes named Zara I came out of nowhere. Was. Zara. I think you were the first Zara. I think the you first, were. first, actually, Zahra Faisal was the first Zara in comedy. Is she still doing comedy? Uh, I think she does comedic works, but she's also the voice of Miss Marvel now, I think. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Amongst many other things. Pay homage. I okay. love this shit. Shout mm. out all to All the Zaras are killing what's it. What's her name? Zahra Faisal is how she pronounced it the American way. Okay. Check her out. Cool. Yeah. First Zara in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Technically. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's I mean, if we're counting. Zaras I mean, I don't think it'll be the last history. Zara in comedy. There'll be more Zaras. It's a pretty name. I, yeah. Totally. I mean, we're only going to be alive for another 10 years. That's <laughs> what we were talking about before you got yeah. here. We are talking Not, about Doomsday. You've got 10 more years of comedy on the but planet. But see, that's good. It's just like, then we're not going to be that old. You know? like Yeah, basically. Sort of. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm cool with 10 more years. 10 more years. Go out on a high note. Do you want a kid? <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know. Uh, is, is it worth it at this, this point? There's a lot of conversation that we don't have time for. Yeah. I don't know. I think having like we a, have 10 years. a normal kid. <laughs> it's expensive to have a kid. Oh, it's, it's too expensive. It's expensive to like have yourself. It's like a million. It, well, I think the last statistic I read was like maybe five, six years ago where it's a million dollars to raise a kid over a lifetime of a kid. Oh, yeah. That was like 10 years ago. 18 years. <laughs> like, yeah, up to 18. Now it's like, I know, it's what, are you kidding? To like ha live like a, a middle class life in Los Angeles, you have to have a six figure income, like 100,000, I think. Oh, my God. To live to a middle class. To live a middle class life in San career. Francisco, you have to make six million a year. Oh, my God. Is that true? Yes. So what about all the people who aren't making six million a year? <laughs> Credit sure. card debt that they're running away from. Wow. It's just like straight up Ozarks. That's oh my basically god, that's it. crazy. Ozarks is it. just like a, a allegory for middle class life in the Bay Area. Wow, just that's pushing insane. credit, just moving money. Just that's insane. Yeah, I don't know. I feel doesn't like doesn't make any sense. You had to get lucky. You had to get into real estate a while ago. I mean, even in if the, you in did San Francisco. 
even if you did, like now you got to be able to keep up with your insurance costs. Yeah. Taxes. And cost of living, traffic, food costs. It's like HOAs. now it's like $20 for a sandwich, $7 for a coffee. Like it's, yeah. I could go for a sandwich right now. Yeah. I'm really? starving. I'm starving. <laughs> um, anyway, so wait. Calling. So you left San Francisco and now you're here in LA. Yeah. Living the Hollywood life. Woo! How's the transition been for you? It's awesome to break into Hollywood at 40. <laughs> Stop. That's a great idea. You should do that. <laughs> oh, so are you saying that yeah. you should try to break in at like another age? Uh, you know, actually, really, real talk, I uh, put off coming down here because I was like, I don't want to be, I want to do the Hollywood thing. I don't want to live that life. I, like I wanted to be a writer. I didn't want to be a performer and I put it off for a really long time. And I wish I hadn't. I wish I just came down because there are so many communities of creatives that it's not like San Francisco is, which is what I call a single circuit system. Mm -hmm. In San Francisco, if you're a comic, everybody knows. Yeah. You're going to see each other. Yeah. Out here in L.A., there are so many circuits going on at the same time. Subreddits. 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 <laughs> It's true. I will, People are coming yeah. in and out of town. Yep. People are making it and moving to New York and coming back. Like, there are so many folks that you don't have to prove yourself to any one pocket, where in San Francisco, you did have to prove yourself to one pocket of folks. And if you couldn't prove yourself to that pocket of folks, then that was it. Yeah, but I think even here, there's some of that, too. Like, if you're trying to get into the Hollywood yeah, comedy the club comedy scene, store, yeah. that's, like, one. There's the comedy store. There's the improv. The laugh, there's Which like, is, yeah, that's what my report on comedy is about. Yeah, there's, like, all so different like, gate ke gatekeepers. Which gate are you going to devote yeah. your life to, you know? Or yeah, there's, yeah. The, there's the social like media gate. sexy, raspy you know? voice. <laughs> I'll clear my throat off. <laughs> <laughs> is that the flu? Is that is, oh coronavirus? Oh, what's happening? Me. No, I'm back. I'm back. By the way, listeners, if I hear one more Corona beer joke about the coronavirus, I'm gonna smack a bitch because like that's enough. There are that Corona beer jokes. Everyone's like coronavirus. Like just don't drink any more Coronas. You'll be fine. Like that's I so have. I've heard that's a dad joke. If I ever I've heard, heard one. every rendition, especially during the don't Super Bowl yesterday. Dads. I heard every rendition of Corona the beer Damn. with coronavirus. And it's over. Stop it. Well, you know what? Those buzzwords in comedy where like everyone laughs when they hear it, like like Corona, like virus. When people hear that now, they laugh just like TED Talk or like yeah. you know, like <laughs> yeah. you know, there's like five, laugh. five, bu five buzzwords totally in comedy. Oh Why God. does that work? Pussy, pussy, still a word. You know, we all love pussy though. I can't. I, I can't pussy laugh forever. at pussy. I still can't say can't. that word like me uh, either. Comfortably <gasps> me out loud. Me neither. I think oh. it's because of our Muslim upbringing. We're very Is that why? We, like our I thought it was a Persian thing. Our subconscious censors us for some reason. My subconscious must be hurts nice. too. Really? I don't know. When you say, I'm when you sure say I've that been word? in therapy for so long. <laughs> oh I'm sure, God. like, it, there was some wall I broke, some hymen I broke to be able to say. Pussy. We haven't broken the. No, pussy I hymen. haven't. Yeah, yeah we can't. I'm not sure it. if I've broken my actual hymen yet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll work find out. No, working all on the it. dudes who ever dated you are gonna have to like act like they didn't if they never broke. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Honestly, how come hymen isn't used as a metric more often? It's hmm. a great metric. Burr. We're just a hymen away from. Oh <laughs> my god! Yes, <laughs> right. That's a great metric. That is great. We you are. Should we're use that. You're a fucking genius. <laughs> So close to fame and fortune, you're a, a hymen, hymen away, away from fame. <laughs> you're a hymen away from making it. <laughs> That's such a perfect explanation. I know exactly what you mean. I you gotta just write that. that down. To, that you might be the get title through. Of the just get through. <laughs> a hymen away. Just need some good lube. Uh, you're yeah, <laughs> you're a hymen away from making it. I think hymen might be a buzzword as well. Oh that pilot is a hymen away. Oh my god. A hymen away from a Netflix Zara. deal. Oh, this girl's More review fun. was a hymen away from being a good <laughs> review. <laughs> Despite being an excellent summation, it was a hymen away from a good review. <laughs> It was a mixed review, I think. It I wasn't know. even, it read like. It wasn't even a review. One half of it read like a baseball sum <laughs> summary. So she came up to the Met. Oh my ready God. Ready to play at the plate. 
Norbeck hit and you know I'd love to have her on the podcast. I would. I actually, yeah. You podcast. know, when I email her, I yeah, let's have her on. So yeah, we I actually do want to talk to her. I do. Here, here's what. what well, we maybe we can call her. Do we want to oh, read our portion her. of the? Okay. No, I'm no. not because I've already <laughs> yelled to everyone about it. She said I was cheeky and old, and told everyone to get a headboard. I she told breathe. me I was famous. I can't so fucking I'm breathe. I'm pretty happy. Congratulations! She's and she famous. Just, Thank you. And she just like roped Suba and I into the same thing. We didn't even get our own <laughs> sentence. Hey, at least she didn't like burn your punchline. Yeah. And she didn't <laughs> call you old. Well, she said I, our humor seemed the least deprecating, so we're not here shouting our age out to everyone. So yeah, me just that. factually stating no, how old I am that was separate like what the f it was rude and also my how old are you 33 27 sure 52 sh sure all of those 67. all of the above you're a hymen away from are your you 30s our combined age is a hymen away from 200 there you go yeah there you go 40 80 <laughs> I'm a vampire <laughs> I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. You're never gonna know how old I am oh until God. one day I just shrivel up and die <laughs> from despite a bad comedy review. There were four. <laughs> listen to me. She called me cheeky. Four despite. She called me cheeky. Is Who that does a, that? Hey, Paul, is cheeky a good adjective? How would you? Okay. I'm gonna translate one line. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. break it down. Okay. Because okay, here's what happens: is that for women in comedy. Uh, Number one, one of the reasons why you guys are awesome and why everybody needs to listen to your podcast and follow you guys on tour and watch you on YouTube is because you do what I wish I had when I was coming up in the scene, which is you have decided as brown women who otherwise would be pitted against each other. And we were. Right. We still are. Well, all the time. In this fucking article. Exactly. <laughs> You decided, no, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to try to cut each other down. We're not going to kick the ladder down on each other. We're all going to come up together because the truth is, if you don't find a community that's going to see you through it, you will get eaten alive. And, yeah. And people who can build a platform, we have a responsibility to build that platform yes. and to extend it to our community because uh, p women of color, we have ourselves. That's yes. it. Yeah. That yes. is it. As We're one of the most marginalized we are. We are yeah. marginalized, fetishized, like all those things. And it's really frustrating that like a lot of people don't see us as real human whole people. Because there's no representation. How yes. do they know? They don't know. They were just whatever yeah. reference yes. they had in the middle of, you know, Kansas City, which yeah. is in Missouri. I heard Trump thought it was in Oh my god, <laughs> oh yeah, Kansas. Kansas City. Uh, the, I mean, I get there, it. Yeah, it's called Kansas is, City. There is a Kansas City in Kansas. God, he's such an asshole. And there's a Kansas City in Missouri. Oh my he's god. just an idiot. Why is the Kansas an City asset. in Missouri like shitting on Kansas City in Kansas? Like I, no I one know. knows about Kansas City in Kansas. Everybody Except knows Trump. about Kansas City in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't know oh, the yeah, difference. Is that the Dorothy in yeah. football and he wants to throw Nuke City run. Okay. But uh, I he know, doesn't know the geography of his own country. So what makes you think he's going to know the <laughs> geography of anywhere else in the world? Okay? This is why I don't understand when people are like, you don't even know the like how do you, you have to know the geography of a country before you're going to bomb it. I'm like, no, you know what? I'm fine with you not knowing. Yeah. Just throw those missiles toward Italy or something. <laughs> like, just <laughs> stay away not from Italy. my grandma. We're not pro throwing stay missiles Stay away from anywhere. my grandma. I, I didn't just say not. do it. I just said just. You know, oh, that's aim right. for where you think it is, which is probably so going to be inaccurate. Zara Nurbuch, who's a human, has family in what that country that, that, that Trump wants to throw bombs at. So, so think about that. So have your uh, have your family members had issues with like uh, visiting Iran? They or can't coming come here? here. They can't come here because no. there's a travel ban on Iran. Yeah, they can't come here. Have they tried to? Or of course, yeah, because okay. I had a cousin who got into a master's program here. She can't come. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. See, that is absolutely ridiculous. It is. It is ridiculous because it <laughs> – I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if it's, like, worth talking about because I think everyone's in agreement of how ridiculous it is. Um, well, it's just, like, yeah. it's – you know, if you hear about it and you, th you like, you know, if, you're, if you have any sort of empathy, you're like, this is awful. But then also it's, like, you – we, we get so much shit news all the time, so much shitty news that we are, we're desensitized to. You have to be to function. But, like, these horror, these horror stories are happening to people. Yes. And, like, we happen to know them. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, like, that's cr that sucks. Yeah. That fucking sucks. It does. Yeah. I, have a, I had a coworker. Um, she's a Canadian and Iranian, um, I guess, citizen. 
and she's in America on a visa, and she's like a coworker of mine. And she was visiting her family in Vancouver, and then they wouldn't let her back in the country. Oh, so she was freaking nightmare. stuck in Canada for like two months. Can't wow. even go home. She couldn't even come back to her apartment in L.A. That's to go to work. They, they wouldn't let because she was on a visa. Because she was on a visa. And mm. she's, uh, in, she, in addition, forget that she's a Canadian citizen. She's also an Iranian citizen. Yeah. So it was like, it was really it traumatizing for her. Because she's like, and worse. I, I have a job. I'm like, a, I pay taxes. I, I have real estate in Los Angeles. Like, what more do I need to do? It, yeah, it's They recently, uh, they've also started deportation of folks to war-torn countries. They recently took somebody who was not from Yemen and deported them to Yemen in the middle of war. What? Yeah. Well, it was, where, where was this uh, person from? The United States. They were a United States citizen. That's like throwing someone in a meat grinder. Like, what are you what? doing? I don't yeah. understand. So if you... But if this person's an American citizen, why were they sent back to these, a random war-torn country? These are, unfortunately, precedents that were set by the Patriot Act. Um, wow. I mean, there is no, like, it's it's completely wrong and criminal for them to do this, and it's completely wrong and criminal for them to, um, without due process, try U.S. citizens like this for denaturalization. And because of things like the Patriot Act, there is a lot in the way of due process that we are due that goes out the window on suspicion and on the claim that it's in the best interest in the national best interest they can get away with a lot under this umbrella law yeah yes exactly and on but also on the claim that it's in the favor of like national security yeah but also one of the things that trump did when he first got elected and got into office was he completely debunked the u.n like he does not like care what the u.n has to say so basically any the the one party that can hold him accountable for international crimes and aside from Congress, aside from well, which is clearly going to do nothing. Yeah, it's uh, he's basically like debunked everybody. So it's like he's really just That's out here called a dictatorship. Yeah, he's folks. just out here being a dictator. And maybe don't I don't know. Make he that doesn't even know where this okay. where the winning Super Bowl team is. He from. doesn't know anything. <laughs> like I would have thought at least that. At you least know what I some mean? dumb shit. I don't think he knows where his wife's vagina is. Like I don't think he knows much. Honestly, I mean we all I don't do. want no, him. I don't, that was, away from that was that yeah. was mean. What? what I said, we all do, and then I was like, "Why did I say that?" What like, his wife's vagina? Oh, I, mean, I mean, it's on the internet. You yeah. can go find it. There are nude photos of her. So on basically, the internet, what we're saying is, is Trump that. doesn't know how to use Google. <laughs> he probably doesn't. Probably honestly, accurate, yeah, he probably doesn't. He has people doing that for save him. Save Melania. Yeah, save. <laughs> Girl, blink twice if you need our help. Please let us know <laughs> next time you're on TV. Zardar, who was followed by Zara Norbaksh, who, despite having the most name recognition among the comedians that evening. <laughs> Period. It's just a period after that. That's so weird. <laughs> I just wanted to read that. I want to find again. the editor of this news. <laughs> I just like, I don't There's know. More how pressure when you're the best. Okay. And so the most famous. I want to really figure out my approach. Despite okay. Because I want, I, I, I need to email this girl anyway because she's quoted a punchline and I can't have that on the internet. Yeah. Oh. Before I do it on TV. So I did not know that. I mean, she didn't quote anyone else's punchlines. But I didn't know about. It being on TV, like, I didn't know that that's a thing. Well, I mean, you don't want to... You just don't want your b material burned. I don't burned. want my that's material burned. I didn't you know? know, yeah. So now it's like, if people actually do come to our shows, like, they're going to know that... Do and that's annoying, you Let's know? formulate an email, because I planned on emailing her. Yeah. Well. Let's get her on the podcast. Cause so, I, yeah, because I have a report on all of the stuff uh, that she did not read well i'd love to hear her <laughs> perspective where she's coming idea. from she um is yeah, probably so younger than most of us she's so younger than all of us you know she's that's a, a student at uc berkeley undergrad yeah. you don't know how old i am <laughs> <laughs> would you say 80 well she's definitely <laughs> younger than me because she like said i'm the oldest person <laughs> so apparently me being however old i am that i say i'm on stage is unfathomable for her to understand as a real human being Oh with God. feelings and material. I, like, lost my shit when I saw that. I was like, you're going to be very irritated. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, but I do want to respond with, like, kindness. But also, I guess, because she, she doesn't respond to, like, advice, you know, because she's offended, apparently. So. Oh, oh that's true. That's well, because my material is giving advice to 20-somethings, you know? <laughs> Bless, Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <gasps> it is coronavirus. Maybe it is. <laughs> well, How I many just, coronas have you my had My body today? just ejected it. 
so weird. Um, yeah, so. It well, sense. it's like, I mean, she's a person. She has an opinion. And I'd like to sort of level and understand where she's coming from. But it's just, it's just interesting that this was sort of her take from the show when the show is 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 so antithetical to yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was trying to say that word, but I was like, I'm gonna put the emphasis in the wrong part. I saw I saw your face was like trying to form the A sound. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You were like, ah, ah I appreciate it. See this is this, this, this why yeah. you're the best. Yes, I'm the best. She's the best. But the, best the most Sarah. famous. The most famous <laughs> and the most disappointing. <laughs> the most <laughs> You, you, you know, don't need to finish the sentence. You're the gr- you know, you fell higher, you know? It was a, it was oh a harder God. fall when you're despite, falling from higher, baby. Despite. She calls it an uneven night. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, that's Look at all this. stand-up. All stand-up is, like, that's... Ollie's, Ollie's act primarily centered around her being one of the oldest comedians <laughs> in the group. Yes. Oh, with man. a comedian cheekily offering statements of advice to the 20-somethings in the room. Quote, it's 2020. Find a guy with a headboard. Exclamation. That's <laughs> actually really, that's a funny. I think so. <laughs> it's but a funny line. It's a fuck. that's exactly, it's a punchline. But and when you front load it with good luck, <laughs> it's just like, she just front loads it I with just like don't so understand. much crap. I don't understand. Like, why? Also, that is my joke, not for you to quote. Like, have you guys had that experience <laughs> as comedians, though, where you like have jokes that you know kill it? Yeah, like you have tested this, and you're like the audience bombed. Seriously? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've had that. I've who, had that a handful of times. Who told me that? I want to give credit to um, Maggie May for for telling me about that. Like sometimes the audience bombs. Sometimes like, I love yeah. that term. It's always yeah. the audience. Sometimes you'll hear comics like, you guys don't deserve this. They, d- they no. never do. I mean, I've like, it's it's sometimes a relationship. I will take There's the L. There's energy, yes. energy exchange. Yes. I will always take the L. I'm not bleeding But like when, when the A, when like the A jokes aren't hitting. Yeah. Or like when I come on stage and I'm like, it's my birthday month. I just turned what da, 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 yesterday and everyone's silent. I'm <laughs> like, oh. Yep. Oh, you guys have already decided you don't want to fuck with me. Oh, okay. yes. yeah, true. Like, that's rude. Like, if, if some yes. normal person is on stage being like, hey, it's my birthday, wouldn't the normal response be like, oh, hey, yeah, happy birthday. Yes. Clap, clap, clap. Well, I think now it's just like, what do we have? Uh, like, I, I, I just got married. I just yeah. had a kid. That's yeah. the milestones yeah. now that we're celebrating. Apparently. That's when yeah. you've got an audience that's there to evaluate. They're not there yeah. to have fun. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, okay, we're not about having fun today. Exactly. <laughs> like, I know, like, that's you supposed know? to be a word you hear when you hear birthday. You go, whoa! Yes, exactly! Whoa. Yeah. She just gave you a chart, like, a, some, like a, you know, like, there. What is wrong? That's Everyone's on Xanax. That's what it is. Well, that's what I usually <laughs> respond <laughs> with. That's what I usually respond with. Who died? Who like, died? <laughs> like, was this a funeral? Like, I don't understand. You guys, I thought I came here for a TED talk. What happened? Yeah. So I'm gonna shout I did out. Work. I'm gonna shout out New York. Oh, okay. What's I happening? I want to shout out New York because New York is a city that does respect oh comedy. Yes, and it's a city you, that does New come York. out to have fun. Thank you. You're right. I've Thank heard you. Chicago is is similar. Chicago too. Is I haven't dope. done yes. Chicago yet. Yes. Chicago is to. dope. I think the rest Both of the those country places. outside of this microcosm. Of Atlanta's like, good too. Atlanta's amazing. We're just listing every other city. Every now. other city. Is Jacksonville, <laughs> great. Well, Gainesville San Francisco. Is awesome. San Francisco is a good city to do comedy in too. Okay. Do you know However, that San Francisco and Brene Brown told San Francisco to calm down. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Brene Brown was like, enough with the vulnerability. Chill. I mean, does San Francisco really have something to be vulnerable yes, about? Because San Francisco is uh, the hub of white liberal racism. Mm, yes. It's a thing. Thanks for saying it, actually. Right? That is a real thing. It's and a I real that, thing. I actually I felt I that in Portland. I see that in writing. Actually. I felt that in that Portland, has to be actually. talked about, spoken about. That should be in the review. And that's the type of shit where you come out and you're like, it's my birthday, and they're like, "Well, we don't know about you yet." Exactly. I like I I was so floored because it was marketed as my birthday show. Like people who wow. came to the show to see me, it was like wow. I had maybe like twenty five fans in the audience. This was Brea Improv, so it's like right here. It's it's yeah. you know like a far away suburb of L A. Um, but 
yeah, like I come out, it's my birthday. The 20 people, 25 people who are there to see me, they're like, yeah, happy birthday. And everyone else is just like silent. They're like, we don't know Gross. you, colored girl. Exactly. And I'm like, what? Like, you haven't told us about where you're from and about your family and about your parents and if they approve and don't whether get or not. You. Yes. So mm-hmm. confused. We don't get you. So, mm-hmm. and that's, that's why it is a steeper hill for us. And that is why representation is so fucking important. Also, your guys' show is, your guys' show and Minority Reports with Mona Sheikh are the only two times. I've had as a comic where I get to come up to a showcase and test what it's like to not have to introduce myself and my whole damn country. Shout out yeah. to Mona for Minority Reports. Yeah, she minor- had that show for a Minority while. Reports has been a great show. But yeah, then I, I get to good. actually test my jokes yeah. that aren't just information. Yeah, <laughs> they're just like your yeah. bio, exactly your bio data. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need all the Obviously. background and the context and that your parents are, hate you for doing this and all, you know. Like, all, yeah, all It's the, like you're, you're a person who has an opinion. Yes, Can I just give yeah. you my opinion on shit? Exactly. Can you the benefit of the doubt that I'm not like, Which like is Saddam why, Hussein? Because yeah. with audiences in San Francisco, if you don't do that, then they get mad and they wait for it. Yeah. And they want you to answer it first. And then they're like, speak to the tension that exists for me and identify it. And then I will roll with you. Yeah. Thank you for saying that because that is a vibe yeah. that I feel like people don't address. There it is. And it's just and you know I think it is that it's it's the the, the sensitive liberal. Yeah. Stuff. And you know I'm a very progressive person but it's like not just, just this oversensitive It's not just a sensitive liberal. It's like it's really like anyone who's like one unfamiliar with comedy or two or just looking at you as an exotic person you can mm. be familiar with comedy but still so like, have that expectation like at brea improv when i did it it was like it was all dudes the headliner was latino so yeah. i came on stage and they're like who is this bitch you know uh-huh. it was like even though i'm saying it's my birthday and my name is R. Ali, they're like no let us know who you really are because i don't know if i should laugh at you or not because i don't know if you're a latina or you're Indian, like, I don't know what you are. Yeah. So once I said, like, oh, who I am and stuff, then they were like, oh, okay, now I can relate to her. What like, the hell? So like, to break them in. I had to break them in. Why but does it's that like, even matter? But I don't, for some people, well, it matters. Extra they, subconscious they, wall. Hold they on, let me break. get yeah. on my bias glasses. They need, <laughs> they need to know who you are. They need to know your, like, ethnic background yes. in order to, like, relate to you or assign, like, a specific like identity to you it's very weird so yes. maybe that's what it takes for them for their guard to go down for you yeah. to be able to connect with them yeah so it's, it's like, like it's like when an uber driver just out of nowhere asks you where are you from no yeah. where are you really from mm. like they're just they just want to know who's in their car it makes yes. them feel better yeah. for some reason like i'm gonna say there's a difference between them wanting to know and them demanding to know yeah because it's not like you're you're not handing them a bomb you're not like starting out with insult comedy you're saying it's your birthday but this and is it, they have the no reason time. to have was, their guard up. I was offended. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> it's my birthday and no one. Okay. You guys this is what I'm saying. Is you called them out. I did. I did. In my report yeah. on comedy, I talked about yeah. how for uh, those of us who are people of color or people who just look different than, you know, the average cis gendered hetero white male, we have to establish context, identify a shared context. And then we can generate anticipation, nail a surprise, and see what the impact is. And if that's not steeper than what, you know, like that is much steeper. Exactly. It's a lot more steps. That's a lot more steps. But then you see white guys get up on stage and it's just anticipation, surprise. Set up, punchline. Well, I was watching Pornhub last night. <laughs> anticipation, and surprise. And everyone was like, oh, man, exactly. I want Pornhub. I got a Pornhub. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Exactly. What? Exactly. What? So then people watch that and they go, oh, that that's tight. You're fast. Those are punchy jokes, but really they don't know the other work that we're doing. <laughs> the the yeah. weights that we're carrying. Yes. Yeah. That slow down a joke. So then you get idiot reviews like this that are like, oh, it was a mellow response. And it's like, say what it is. It's racism. Well, the first yeah. show was like was sold out and did really well. So, yeah. I mean, which is. It was, but I will I w- say, I like, the, the you, crowd was tight. Like, the crowd. San Francisco. Well, I mean, also, there was the. You got this, too. The Every time we said white boys, they would go, oh. There it is. Yeah, they were they were awing for stuff that was weird. I think they I got an awe like, for like something about like going to an orgy. Yes. Yeah. Aww, like, poor, yeah. <laughs> poor little, hey, poor if little you're, colored girl at the orgy. She just wanted to tell jokes. If you're coming to a comedy show, your response to anything <laughs> said on stage should never be aww. No, no, none of that. None of that. I've Aww. had a few of those. It's a way of putting us in our place. You know what's hilarious though? <laughs> 
like a bunch of us kept hearing the aww. And then Paula V said during the first, she's like, oh, I didn't hear it. I don't know what you're talking about. And then during her, <laughs> during the second show, she heard Oz. And she, she said she had the worst set she's had in a while. Oh, and that's I'm like, funny. oh, bitch, you heard it now? Like, <laughs> now you know what it feels like? We should call her. You know? Let's but whatever. Her. I was like, it, I mean, it's just, it's crazy to me aww. that, like, people say aww during comedy shows. Well, it's a pity. And pity is also, a way of putting us in our place. If you're going to bring your white boyfriend to an all brown girl show, don't feel bad for him that we're making jokes you know about why white people. That. You know why they do that. I think right. actually maybe you told me this. So, I love hearing you deconstruct this because this is like, you know, this is very insightful. The, w- the reason why they do that is because, and I see this happen to women in comedy all of the time. You've got women in the audience who are there with their dates and they don't want to be implicated. Yeah. Mm. And so they don't want to identify. They don't want to act like they identify with what you just said. And it happens with body comedy all the time when people are like really ratchet and the women in the crowd don't want to be associated with that because they're with some dude and they don't want to look ugly. Yeah. Mm. So then they pull away like, oh, I don't understand. I don't get your joke. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, as women or as as comics, we have to be vulnerable. We have to, like, you yes. know, we can't sit here and be like, "Oh, I'm fucking fine." You know, you, like, you did like a uh, like you also have experienced this, the the women pulling away because they don't want to be implicated. Oh yeah, this oh, happens. I just, it just makes yeah. sense. Mm. It just makes this sense. happens. This this happened to me at one of Mona Shea shows, one of the Minority Report shows. She she had an all Daisy Girl show. Um, so. It was a bunch of older Pakistani and Indian couples in the audience. And half the comics, actually, no, all the comics bombed before she went on stage because none of the women wanted to laugh with their husbands there. There you go. They were all just like, and it was weird because I think the month before she had done a show of just like all women were invited and it, they had the best time ever. Mm. So it's like, yeah, m- women. Especially South, especially women of color. I don't know if this is all women of color, but like from what I've seen with like Arab women and Persian women and South Asian women, they feel a certain type of way when they're with mm. their date. Oh, we got to yes. burn the patriarchy now. Yes, yeah. so it's we can, ridiculous. So we don't have to do push-ups to tell like basic jokes. Yeah, I it's mean crazy. it's ridiculous. Like we should be able to get up on stage and we should be able to make these jokes without having to carry the weight of representation all of the time. And I yeah. mean that's such a larger thing. Like that takes that that could take generations. Well, and the We've funny thing so to me is that like now white men are having to do it, and they're like, "What is this? It's this extra work. I don't want to have to do this. What oh. do you mean impact? Welcome, welcome to our lives. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to all the work we've been doing forever. <laughs> yep. Uh, and longer. And longer. Yeah. Um. Should we? I think we have eight minutes. Yeah. We should call Paul Levy. Um. Do you want to dial her in, Paul? See, you. see how it's going on our solo Paul, tour? you know who we're seeing your DMs <laughs> pop up on the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh let's my read, God. Let's read fun. hers. Should we... Well, yeah, she got a stellar I mean, review. She got a, should read she her got glowing. a stellar review. You guys should do your, uh, the South Indian uh, girl who was giving us a review. Oh, you guys weren't wearing your headphones. Am I the only one yelling? Oh, we have to wear our headphones? Well, just to hear the call. the call, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's Bye. cue it up. Does it, despite well, her placement right in the middle of the lineup, which is like middle of the lineup is a great what placement. What does that mean? That's the we're this warmed is, up and not tired. This is what goes to show <laughs> that <laughs> that this hoe does not know anything about comedy. Being in the middle of the show is <laughs> the best. <laughs> but despite despite despite, despite Paula Vigunalan managed to garner the most laughs of the night. She had her little counter. She was just clicking. Yeah. Click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click easily <laughs> despite. She had the best spot. Easily coming away as the highlight of the show. With a charismatic and unabashed delivery, Gunnelin balanced self-deprecating humor and snarky punchlines at others' expense, tackling topics such as aging and her South So Indian self-deprecating for Pallavi is good. Self-deprecating for the rest of us is irreverent? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> well, it's yeah. just like you know? she... No, it, she did it in a balanced way. Oh, she connected, okay. like, balanced. so the, the writer connected with Pallavi, and yeah. that's great, and that's fantastic. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I think... I mean, that's the, the goal expense. of what we so want. We want everyone to m- make a connection with who we are. Okay, just because you don't make a connection with the other five women on the lineup does not make us bad comics. No, this know? should have just been, uh, you know, well, she said emerging like, comic, Pallavi Gunnalan, like, highlights. Just talk about the comedy and what you connected to. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Or like, I mean, she even said here, it's th- this sentence is sort of, I think, sums it up. That while each of the concluding comedians had well-delivered, consistently funny acts. So that's like saying, hey, the, the, the comedy, she... Concluding comedian. So you and Suba, mine sucked because I'm old and I told her to no, get a headboard. No, no, no. We're in the same group. You, me, and Suba are the last comedians. She, she separated you as being older than that. Fuck it. <laughs> You're a hymen away from 40. Oh, my God. I am not a hymen away from 40. <laughs> a 40-year-old hymen. Holy shit. I have a long I way am. to go. What if I say this? I... Zara am a hymen away from 40. No, you have to say which Zara because there's two (laughs) of us on here. Period. Zara (laughs) Nurbach is a hymen away from 40. I didn't say that in my sentence. But she, okay, so just to finish the thought, she said each of the concluding comedians, I I think it was me, you, and and Suba, she said it was well-delivered, consistently funny, but none were quite as memorable as Ganalan's. And that's in her opinion. Yeah, and or you know, and it's just the way things were worded, I think it's it is antithetical to the mission of yeah. what we're yeah. trying to accomplish. And it's not un- what she's saying is not uncommon, this sort of perspective. And that's why I was like, well, maybe well, she's younger. Well, I mean, she's mm. she is it's younger. She is younger and this she's is societal some 236 followers. I she's mean, 233 wa- followers younger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to uh, shit on the girl because it's like, actually, I do want to get her on the podcast. I but mean, why can't I shit on her? She shit on me. You can do me. whatever you want. I think you I deserve want, to shit fair. on her. That's fair. I'm not trying I to deserve to shit anybody. on her. No, you know what? It was because I remember when you were first doing that and I was like stopping you. And then now in retrospect, I realized that I was pulling in on behalf of all women. Mm. Yeah. Right? Like, we shouldn't behave like this as women, but you're right. Like, you should have agency to respond the way you like to respond to things. Totally. And you yeah. do amazing roasts. That's true. I do have a roast battle tomorrow. <laughs> you're a roaster look. killer. <laughs> this is like, you. yeah, this is your riffing. This is how you feel I right mean, now. Yeah. She put her opinion out there, and you're I'm giving your opinion mode right, right now. Yeah. I'm in roast mode right now. I like it's. I've been doing it. You know, it's fine. But the point is, is that just. That the like South Indian girl related to the South Indian comic. Well, you can. <laughs> <laughs> on our lineup, the best. <laughs> You can celebrate someone without shitting on exactly, other yeah. and you don't okay. have to. You don't have to like you know put down people because they're older than you. Paul, you, know? you want to dial her in? Oh, she isn't. All um, right, so maybe she's not available. She's on her solo tour, you guys. She <laughs> is. She. This article has propelled her career to stardom. <laughs> she's ready to go. Pallavi is out there. We gotta, she's, she's already left the calls. group. Look yeah. at what you've done, Anika. There's already Damn. like dissension. It's it's Broke gonna happen. The group up. Girl. It's gonna happen. Nah. I'm gonna respond. Can't. I'm like, you broke us up. <laughs> <laughs> Pallavi has now left the group because be of this article. She took it too hard. She thinks that she has a market of South Indian girls <laughs> in liberal schools around the country. She's <laughs> she, gone. Because you know how many gone. of those are there, there are. Yeah. They're in all the schools. Yeah. But yeah. she actually, yeah. yeah, she was actually disappointed in the review too. Because yeah. it is it is going yeah. against yeah. everything. And also it's just like that was happenstance because she's did not like her second set. Yeah. So what if, what if the reviewer happened yeah. to catch that one? Yeah. And, and you know, so it was. Just I wish this reviewer caught my second one. I'm glad they didn't. I, mean, I, my, I like the first show better. You're not supposed to. I review wish you a show you. that has I wish this reviewer caught my set last night. I wish he could have just caught any of my roast battles where I want. You know, like it's not. And then stay for both of them if you really want sort of like a yeah. thorough. Um, yeah, you know you're gonna get three different comments. Well, how does this Roast work? How does this work with press? Are they uh, like supposed to tell you that they're yes. covering you? Even college. Level? So yes. she didn't tell us. Like I didn't know she was covering well, us. We should as reach out to Sketchfest and ask because maybe that's a good idea. she went yeah. through. Because Sketchfest would she be sort have, of yeah. where yeah. she would reach out I to I before us. Maybe. maybe. But I've we never, know. I've, I've never seen any. I've never seen anybody. Uh, offer up a review without contacting me first and saying, oh, I'm coming to review your set. I've never had anyone quote me before without telling me they're quoting me on a publication. Because I would never allow a punchline of a joke to be quoted. Well, I guess this is the difference between maybe a student publication. It's a student publication, so that's fine. But like... But it's not fine. It's rude. Or maybe that's why it's not written like a real review. Maybe so that's this why it's written like I, an article. This is, yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. But then she's also Weird. shitting on most of the lineup. So I don't I don't know. But I, I got to figure it. out how I'm going to respond. I want to respond in a nice way, but also like in a very matter of fact, like, hey, this is not like responsible journalism. You're a hymen away from responsible. <laughs> she's more than a hymen away from responsible. <laughs> but yeah, definitely invite her on. We can yeah. get her on the call. We have Pallavi. Oh, good. Yay. Pallavi. Pallavi. 
Hi, Hi what's up? What up, girl? We're talking about you the You're the best. You are the best comic on this article. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. Uh, there I'm being. hang up right now. <laughs> so you're the best. Despite. No, it's you're just, I think we were, the, the main thing we're talking about is how you can celebrate someone without shitting on other people. I think that's been, like, the main theme, and you know yeah it's totally whack like it was crazy that they ranked us i was like this is insane you're not the best okay so i'm not the best and you're not the oldest you're the best (laughs) so you win by default i think wait what (laughs) she said i was she said i was the (laughs) oldest i know when i read the article i was like zara is not gonna be like this girl's gonna get it like she does not (laughs) know what pandora's box she just opened i want i want to hear the i appreciate that overall the review was like it was generally positive so that's good let's keep that coming but also like wh- like every person she was like <laughs> she just compared each of us to each other which was not the point and I've heard people before say that they that we've kind of set it up to be compared and I'm like are you no, not paying attention not right. to the tone of the show at all yeah <laughs> like, no I think society set them up to compare us this yeah is just you know this is just the climate that we're in yeah no I mean if they're call it out if they're comparing yeah. that is their conditioning yeah you know anyone yeah for, like for instance anyone who is comparing um, Shakira and J Lo's performance at yes, halftime during we Super Bowl, yeah. like that is your that is that's your you. that's a you issue because they were both very evenly amazing and they enhanced each other's and performance they when they did. came out but together. I do, that was I do iconic. Think that, I do think that sometimes it like undermines and it gets into people and then they get insecure and then they feel competitive with each other because that's happened. Mm. I think even like w- you know within our demographic in entertainment, right, is that people have felt competitive, but it's all these like outward pressures. So you just have to like stay secure and stay confident yeah. and not give a fuck. Yeah. And then, well, that's the thing is like we're pitted against each other, but women of color, all we really have is ourselves as yeah. our yeah. allies. So it's just. Oh, that's rough. So we have to, you know, we have to. We have to reach out to her. We have to fix her now. I think we oh, do. Yeah, but like, how do we, to, you know, yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's but just I'm trying hearing... to figure out how to do that in a productive way. Well, first do your roast because I want to hear it. And not put her down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's just hearing I her just, perspective and it's yeah. leveling. It's just like, yeah, I'm trying to get where you come from. Can you get where we're coming from? Where you are coming from is bitch. Where I'm coming from is different. <laughs> and I'm trying to understand But also, it. she's coming from like a 20, 21 year old perspective, you know? And so maybe my jokes did not hit her demographic. I looked her up. She's 52. Whatever. No, is, you know I'm lying. so it's like i and she doesn't she all it's just there was so much wrong with this article and it was so uninformed yes so yeah. i mean yeah it's i think it's an opinion article right it's just like her call that's what we're trying to figure out we don't know what it is we don't know if it's a oh, review or if it's it like a, we don't know, what, you know it what it is it's actually um the only person who uh does the best gets to advance further in comedy that's what it is oh my god <laughs> Is that why you're on your solo tour? You have to quit. That... She broke out. She's she on her yeah, solo tour. That we also came up with um, new metrics. <laughs> oh yes, spill it. Wait, if it's if it's boob size, I'm out. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's way more nuanced. It's a hymen away. <laughs> what? We feel that hymens should now be a new kind of metric. Oh, yeah, that means, like, horse girls are going to lose immediately, right? If it has to be intact. Well, no, that's no, what no. I'm saying. Wait, yeah, go it's, ahead. A, it's like a unit of measure. It's a unit of measure. Like, you're, oh, a, you're a, a hymen away. Like one hymen. You're, you're a hymen high. away. Uh. Like, I was a hymen and a half away from being the best comic of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very precise <laughs> measurement. But you're, that means I you have had a no little hymen. more. You had a little you more broke hymen. The hymen. You broke the hymen. You more hymen. You broke the hymen, Paulie. Broke the broke the glass hymen. You broke yeah, the glass hymen. <laughs> For me, they were like, that girl already has broken her hymen. What is going on? I heard she was a hoe, and I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> well, people kind of shit on critics anyway. We were talking a little bit about this for just being critical of something that's subjective. So, but I mean, I mean, if it was written with that level of nuance that we could yeah. then appreciate it, yeah. But yeah, that's. I think we, we also get her on the podcast. Yeah, we gotta go. That'd be good. Could we also use each of our names as different units of measure? <laughs> like instead of kilometers, say like Zara's. You know what I mean? Or but like which Norbach- Zara? Well, we could say Norbachs. Norbachs. Are we talking about our height versus or our, Ali's or our name yeah. recognition? Our name I don't recognition. Because like, <laughs> I have, I have the biggest last name, so most name recognition. <laughs> 
easiest <laughs> to spot it's from a very, mile away. That is, that is hard to decipher. What if that's what she meant? What does she mean by oh, name God. recognition? Does she what mean she that you're the mean, most famous? Yeah, she, she didn't mean I was the most famous. She oh, just yeah. meant I can see her name from a far <laughs> distance. It's on a sign. It's so, from oh, yeah. so many letters. From seven leagues Zara's away, most, I can spot Zara her last Hobbox name. She's the most well-known. Yeah, because her name is the longest. Despite. I think it's just because of us. How many, how many people have podcasted in the White House? I think that's why. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Boom. true. You went that was her metric. Up. That's a good metric. I am metric. so many hymens past this review. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, though? Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, oh I think God. the show was dope. It, it was, was great. It was great. It was great. It was a great, it was a great night. Um and I think the fans were great. It was, it was we had some weird experiences. It was this review, and there was this dude who came up to me <gasps> oh, at wow. the end of the night. Paul, do you know about this? Really? No. Yeah, this you were dude. there for a second. I gave you a quick update, but you had to go talk yeah. to your friends. But this dude came up to me at the end what? of the night. You, I think you were there too. After the second show, and he was like, um, "So, one of the girls that came on the show with you guys last year, did you fire her? I hope you fired her because she wasn't that funny." Fire? And I'm no. like, I'm like, what are you talking? I'm like, we don't fire anyone, and uh, you know, comedy is subjective. So if you didn't think she was funny, I mean, we think she's funny, and whoever it was, like, we don't fire anyone. We're a collective of South Asian women, and whoever can do the show, they can do the show. So she'll probably be on a future show at some point. And he was like, yeah, but like, she wasn't funny. She was making fun of India, and I'm like, half the oh comics on this lineup made fun of India tonight. So I don't really know. I did. Yeah. So I think, I mean, I think like I Russell think, Peters like, does that quite yeah. often. But and there's, like, there's definitely like backlash from um, like from it within like Indian fans or whatever. There's like, if you go against India, if you go against Hinduism, oh, um, there's like giant backlash. Like our friend Neil Nanda has experienced that before where wow. like Indian people have like come at him the hardest for like making jokes about it because they can't not, they like take themselves too seriously. That's yeah. fucked up. I got Nobody... dragged on the internet when I did like this, this thing for YouTube that this guy has a bunch of viewers for not knowing who um, a, one of the Indian freedom fighters was. Because we're not taught that in public school in Florida, you know? <laughs> Bitch, we aren't yeah. even taught American history properly. I know. Yeah. Like, Our president doesn't know Tulsa, where Oklahoma Kansas City is, recently. okay? Our president doesn't know where Kansas City is. Why are we being held to a higher standard but than it's our just, president? You know, it was a lot of there Indian people like from India yeah. that were just were so offended. So offended. Can we can we ask these Indian people about American history? And do they do <laughs> any of that to guy honestly, comics? Do they do that to brown dudes? No. Yeah. Honestly, they know a lot, so we shouldn't go down that path. They, you know what? No, they they do know. I will say, yeah, they they but, know a lot, but like they, they don't, don't know everything. They don't expect their better education in their face. But they do know, like I do feel like they're better educated than we are in like elementary school. <laughs> like That's I went to sure. India and I did comedy there, and they knew what Utah was and stereotypes about it and i was like that's, oh, that's funny insane. well that's yeah. because they also watch american television and american that's true. movies that's true but they just so do they know more that. about about us than yeah. i think we know about them that's interesting but I, I also think it's less to do with who knows what and more to do with like they're gonna hold women to the standard but never men oh that too they don't go after the know. boys like people this. need to be able to joke about their own shit People like, love shit. policing women. Everybody loves to shit talk a woman. Yeah. Do you? How do you guys feel? And we probably have to wrap up shortly after this. But I'm very curious how you guys feel about. Like, do you feel like the brown? Now we're getting a bit more representation, but it's mostly men, right? Mm -hmm. It's mostly men. Yeah. Do you feel like they need to start being more supportive and giving platforms yes. to the brown women? Yes. Or just you know, be on the wrong side of history and get called out first before they do it, you know? No, I think... Like, Very loaded happen? presentation of the question. I think, <laughs> just I think they are. Attempts. I think they are. I just don't think that they have the exposure to all of us yet. Yeah, it might and be a yeah, sensitive that's time. That's their job. So I think, I mean, I think they want to. And mm. maybe we just flood everyone's inboxes with submissions, honestly. Like, what, like... All these guys who are like touring the country, like I know Aziz has been taking out more Indian comics with him. What's up, like Uncle that. Russell? Yeah. What's up? So I don't know, but I mean, I know all. Forget those guys. Russell. Russell's like opening. He's doing Madison Square. He's doing twenty thousand people arenas. What's but, up, Russell? But these other that's guys. That's all the more reason to do it. But like these other guys who are doing like club tours and stuff like that, you know, like why not have? Why not Madison? You all know, like, of them. Why not bring? You know, yeah. listen. I will tell you why all of them are in a position to do it. They have no consequence. That's true. If we get up on that stage and we do badly, it will one hundred and thousand percent be on us. Yeah. 
there and no one is going to tell them, you know, oh, you shouldn't have done that. And so I'm not going to come next time. They're going to write to them and be like, why didn't you fire her? <laughs> or right? they're gonna come to a show, another show in the future, and be like, "Did you fire that person?" Exactly. That sucked? And I'm like, what? <laughs> "Exactly, exactly." It is not gonna land on them, yeah. but it has a huge impact on us, whether we do badly or well, to have that opportunity. Oh my That's god! Why, you like, I've recently, I've recently That's been doing funny. the thing where I ask uh, male comics if I can open for them rather than female comics because I think that female comics generally do try to lift each other up and take women on the road. So now I'm just being more like audacious about asking nice. male comics. I'm like, yo, can I open for you? Cause that way it'll like open I up another. That. You know yeah. what? I'm going to write a review about this podcast and about how I felt that despite an hour conversation, <laughs> all of these moment right there was <laughs> the best. <laughs> what? You didn't like my coronavirus joke? Oh my God. Despite your oh old, God. Coronavirus joke. <laughs> All right, let's plug our shit. And, oh my uh, god, let's plug. I our hate stuff. everyone. I hate everyone. Yes. I hate <laughs> you all. You guys, I had so much fun. Uh, this was fun. Yeah, this is the Facial Recognition Comedy Podcast. Go to facialrecognitioncomedy.com to find out what the fuck we're up to. Um, we're also on the socials, Facial Recognition Comedy and Facial Rec Comedy on Twitter. And uh, come to our show next week. Yeah, we got shows and shit. Do you guys remember when our shows are? February 9th. February 9th, Westside Comedy Theater, Santa Monica, 9 p.m. Come to the show. This oh. is going to be a good one. We have some New Yorkers, oh. we have some out of towners visiting. So, Santa Monica. We have our Santa Monica show, our monthly Santa Monica show, but we also have a show in Hollywood for all the people who are scared to go to the West Side. Yes, at the Laugh Factory on Monday. The oh, 17th. is that the one that you just booked me for? Sweet. Monday the 17th. <laughs> <laughs> what time is our show at the Laugh Factory? Uh, 8 p.m.? I'll I think tell it's you 8 right now. No, it's no, 9.45. Yes, is it 9.45? Oh, it's a later show. It's a 9.45 yeah. p.m. President's Day, Monday, February 17th. Come. Because I know none of you all care about the president. So just come. You can find me and all my name recognition at ZaraComedian.com. Z-A-H-R-A Comedian.com. There you can also find my report on comedy through the Pop Culture Collaborative if you want to learn more. I would love to. Check yeah. it out. Cool. Uh, I'm also Zara. Uh, <laughs> and you, <laughs> you can... I'm much older Zara. No! <laughs> I am several hymens <laughs> away from whatever. Oh my god, I hate I hate if everybody. If you were to measure the difference between like our age, there's and a lot of hymens. Okay, um, forty. This is Zara Ali. You could find me on all the socials as really Zara, and Zara is spelled the same as the other Zara on the podcast today. Z A H R A. That's me. <laughs> okay. Paula I'm Paula Viganalan, P A L L A V I G U N A L A N. That's my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, and my website. And I'm Fizza Dasani, F I Z A A D O S A N I dot com. Um, do white dudes have to spell their names out like this? Like all of us are sitting here spelling out our names. That's not true. They can. They, they why just do you get think to we're be so like, good at spelling bees? This You're is right. why we dominate. You're right. <laughs> they can just be like, I'm Brett Favre. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> figure it out isn't that you're like it, people yeah. will go google it to there, spell yeah, that shit right google i'm kyle mclaughlin no one get, people book me on shows and don't google my name to see how it's spelled and they're like i'll get pizza on the fly yeah one of the girls who's done our show melissa shoshahi yeah she has this great joke just about the comedy community but she's like if you spell my name right on the flyer i'll promote it <laughs> nice <laughs> like it's that's pretty real. easy that's it's the real the bare minimum duh all right well all right. i might have a date oh nice oh Woo, get it. snaps no. Is right. gonna get rid of the high man. No, right. I don't know. Okay. I don't know about all that. All right, cool. I gotta go be single, so. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, bye, bye everybody. Bye. bye. bye.